inside the Alaris Center is rocking. UND won the toss and deferred. The Bison will get the ball first, and we're underway. Christian Watson will field that it's at his own five-yard line. The All-American returner is met by a horde of UND tacklers at about the 21-yard line, and that's where the Bison offense will go to work. Let's introduce you to the Shields starting lineup. First for the Bison on offense. No huddle. No huddle is yep. right. Bison will go to work here from the 27. They'll go right back to him, but he's blown up on the play there. Galvin comes in and for the tackle. That's Jason Coley, excuse me, number 11 on the stop. Well, we saw this against Valparaiso. NDSU gets a big gain running the ball, and they like to go back to the exact same play, and I think that's what they did here. I think UND was clued into it a little bit. Like, hey, if they go fast, we're just going to send the house. They come off the edge and tackle for a loss there. Boy, that's one way to flip the momentum, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. And NDSU right back in business and going hurry up here. Yeah, they're just going to get right back on the line here. North Dakota's that kind of team where if something works, they're not afraid to go right back to it and just keep grinding on you. Big hit, though, in the backfields. Jason Coley, the sophomore safety from the suburbs of Chicago, laying the boom that time. Right after Johnson had rattled off a 21-yard carry, he loses three on this play. Yeah, Coley said, we're not doing that again. Good job knowing that play was coming, coming right off the edge, making sure that run did not go again. That's, it's a good job of knowing what the offense is going to do. Hey, when they go hurry up, this is what's going to happen. Just a great football play. Jason Coley, if believe it or not, was a defensive end in high school and a long snapper, but a great athlete, despite the fact he's only six foot 180.